have Paul Lucas here, the voice actor for Landy and Chai from the Shenmue franchise. Thanks for coming on the show, mate, taking time out of your day to talk to us. Uh, how are you doing today? Fine, I'm very fine. It's nice to be with you. Thanks for uh, thanks for hooking up. Oh, no worries, no worries. It's been, uh, it's been in the pipeline for a while, trying to get a date for both of us. Um, <laughs> but fine, finally, we're here. I think you first contacted me last year. But yeah, we finally got there, just like Shenmue 3. So yeah, I've got a... Um, I've got a few questions for you myself, and then we'll sure. go on to the uh, community questions as well. We've got okay. quite a few from uh, Facebook and Twitter. So the first question I've got for you, Paul, um, how did you get sure. into acting? And is it something you've always wanted to do? Mm. Well, um, <clears throat> the way the way I um, got into acting was um, when I was... Um, I must have been about five or six years old. My Ooh. mom signed me up many yeah. years ago. Um, I lived, I grew up just outside of uh, Seattle mm. uh, in, in Washington State in the USA. And my mom signed me up for this little drama club. Nice. Um, and we put on, we put, yeah, we put on the uh, Wizard of Oz. Typical thing that a lot of kids might get involved with. And... Uh, I played one of the munchkins and one of the flying monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, a, that's a good first role. <laughs> yeah. That was my first, my first foray in, in onto uh, treading the boards. Yeah, um, and I, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. And then uh, as I went through my school life and my uh, university life, I kept getting into plays and uh, kept training a little bit here and there and finally I uh, took some drama classes in university and uh, um, got a degree in television production and directing uh, mm. from Washington State University and then I, um, I went to uh, New York City and did some acting training there um, through a couple of studios one, one of them was, um, uh, what was uh, the Terry Schreiber studios those were those were really great um, I remember uh, everyone kind of excited because uh, there was this um, this young guy called Edward Norton that everyone thought, man, he seems so good. I wonder if he's got a future. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Edward Norton, yeah, he he was at that studio many years ago. Anyway, um, so then uh, I, the way I. Uh, became professional was uh, going to an audition for Sony Handycam over in Tokyo. Yeah, um, that would have been in about nineteen, oh, about nineteen eighty-eight, eighty-nine, somewhere, maybe even ninety, somewhere, somewhere around there. Mm. And um, and they wanted somebody who could be a little bit goofy, a little bit silly, <laughs> kind of nerdy, and um, they wanted this person to step into a bucket. And grab onto a lamp and <laughs> crash, boom, bang, fall to the floor. Yeah. And I guess they liked my style of crash, booming, and bang. So, <laughs> so I got the job, and uh, I did a series of Sony Handycam commercials way back then. Uh, that yeah. was when the Handycam was first coming out. Mm. Um, and uh, so I, I was this, this, um, this nerdy little skinny guy that uh, was henpecked by his great big great big wife um always yelling at him and, uh, <laughs> just creating funny little moments in life in married yeah. life and then uh, the, i think the caption uh was something like uh, uh capture capture these moments on <laughs> on video or something like that I don't <laughs> yeah know. is there um, anywhere so, to see those adverts uh do you know if they're up on youtube or anything uh, well, so Sony, yeah, I don't know. I haven't oh, okay. <laughs> looked for those for years. Sony yeah. would own all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and the, um, the advertising company, a big, great big one in Japan called Dentsu. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they, who knows? Maybe they've got a website or something where you, you could spot something, yeah. some of those old stuff. Yeah. In fact, they would always give me a copy of it. That's all on VHS now. Oh, I, VHS. I, <laughs> I miss, I miss VHS. I used to love VHS. <laughs> those great big cartridges. Remember that? Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I did a series of commercials for Sony and I ended up doing, um, uh, some, uh, some voiceovers for those commercials. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, then, then one voice job led on to another and another and another mm. ended up going uh, over to Sega and Nintendo and, mm. you know, all these others. 
So okay. yeah, it was uh, it was pretty fun. I had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, if we、uh, get back to Shamu now, how、yeah. did you get the role for Landy?、Uh, were there many auditions for it? Yeah, it was through an audition,、um, and I remember going into、uh, the recording studio. Yeah,、um, they showed me、uh, the Japanese version. What they would do is、uh, make all the versions of these games、um, in Japanese first, and、yeah. so the Japanese actor、um, had done something similar to what I、uh, came up with,、yeah. but it was.、Uh, I think he was a bit more robust, and I. I couldn't quite match his tone, oh, so I, I. I don't know about that. I, I say you're better. <laughs> 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 well, by、uh, yeah, by matching, I I don't. I'm not commenting on quality. I'm just. I, I couldn't <laughs> quite、uh, fit his style. Yeah. So I just kind of did it my way, and、mm. and the director seemed to go with it. So,、mm. uh, it kind of stuck with it. So when, when recording、uh, the dialogue for the game, did did you have、uh, any interactions with Yu Suzuki?、Um, that's a good question. I remember people coming and going. This is so many years ago now. I remember quite a few people coming and going. I,、yeah. I do believe that、um, there was、uh, a team that had come in at one point,、um, and and them saying these are the game、um, makers or the producers or creators, whatever,、yeah. um, and. He could very well have been in that group, but I don't specifically remember being introduced to Yu Suzuki himself. I, I just don't remember because it was so long ago,、yeah. and that was at a time in Tokyo where、um, I was over there、um, uh, doing a lot of work at the, at that time. Yeah, and so. You know, my memory wires could be getting crossed over <laughs> with other games. I was、yeah. doing Street Fighter for a, a while, and all these other、um, games. They were quite new.、Uh, you know, it's quite a new innovation back then. It was in the late '90s and early 2000s that, that the, this was really, you know, starting to blossom, and and、uh, the creators were taking the the graphics to a whole new level at that time, and it was、yeah. really.、Um, You know, starting to to explode.、Mm. Um, so, I, yeah, I couldn't tell you exactly <laughs> if I looked at you, Suzuki.、Um, you know, in the eye <laughs> and, <laughs>、yeah. the stare, and, and talk to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so,、um, out of all of the games that you've worked on,、um, as you mentioned,、uh, you've, you've been in quite a few games.、Uh, Tenchu,、uh, Street,、mm-hmm. Street Fighter, as you mentioned. Um, mm-hmm, yeah. What What is the most fun you had?、Um, like, were there any well,、uh, specific but, moments you enjoyed?、Um, well, I did.、Uh, I did quite enjoy Shenmue.、Um, yeah. And I think part of the reason for that was <clears throat>、um, the script just seems to be a little more.、Uh, it just seemed to have a little more fullness to yeah, it. Yeah, a bit more weight、um, behind it. Like, yeah.、Uh, yeah, it really did have a, a nice. A nicer feel,、mm. and、um, when they wanted me to come up with something for Chai, I I just <laughs>、yeah. remember、um, going all over the place trying anything, and I, we must have gone through a dozen renditions of of Chai. Yeah, and、uh, then until I finally came up with what you what you hear and see now, and、yeah. and I, I always tell people I I kind of feel like I was the original guy. Gollum, because he, he kind of looks <laughs>、yeah. like Gollum. He, he kind of sounds he,、yeah. like Gollum, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. There is a resemblance, <laughs> and, definitely. And I just thought, oh, when I saw that movie,、um, Lord of the Rings, I thought, I wonder if somebody had played Shin Mu yeah, because that sure does、Shenmue、feel、fans. familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just me being egotistical, I guess. I no, I, I think I, I think you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. So,、uh, I mean,、uh, to tell you the truth.、Um, I almost feel like、uh, they they could have actually designed,、um, uh, you know,、uh, visually designed <laughs> Chai、uh, and Gollum after me too, because I kind of look like him. <laughs> I'm kind of skinny and bald, and <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's ever a, so, if there's ever a Shenmue film,、uh, you know. Well, you'll have to reprise the role as Chai. <laughs> you know, you just have to do it. <laughs> yes, I'll reprise the role. <laughs> <laughs>、um, so, obviously, with the Shenmue games,、um, have you played them?、Yeah. Yourself? Have you actually played them yourself?、Uh, and what do you think of them? 
Well, you're probably going to laugh at this, um, but no, I have never, ever played Shenmue. I've seen other guys <laughs> playing it, but I've never yeah. sat down with the controls and actually played it. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> In fact, um, I think, yeah, no, I think uh, um, just about all the games I've ever worked on, I don't think I've ever actually sat down and uh, played it for more than, you know, a minute, yeah. really. I, yeah. uh I've just never really been a big video game player. I, I love performing and acting mm. and coming up with all that stuff. But, yeah. Um, I don't think I have the patience to try to work out all the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all, all the secret <laughs> paths and everything. Yeah, it can get quite hectic uh, at, at points. Yeah, no, I like working on the stuff. But oh, yeah. Don't yeah. ask me to try and solve any of the riddles or any of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finding my way through the, the maze. Yeah. So, so it, it was... Um, so it was a huge moment for fans, uh, as you can imagine, with Shamu Free. Um, yeah. What was your reaction when you heard the news that the game was actually going to be made? Well, I, uh, I, I, I think it's um, great. I think it's really, um, uh, it's just, it's a testament to how popular the game has been, and it just keeps going on. I think um, the fans are uh, pretty dedicated <laughs> i've never seen <laughs> yeah. so many so many dedicated fans yeah. but uh if i'm being perfectly honest with you um i know that uh they're working on shenmue 3 um, yeah. and it, i know that it's um getting close to uh you know, completion but we we haven't even um uh talked about any re recording yet so ah, okay. i know they're still working on the the japanese version so yeah yeah, yeah i haven't done any any recording or any work on it. Eric Kelso, a friend of mine who also uh, voiced uh, Shenmue, yeah. um, we're, we're always in touch. Hey, so um, when are we when are we sitting down to record Shenmue 3? Have you heard anything? <laughs> <laughs> and he's asking me, I'm asking him, no, I haven't heard anything. So. Uh, right, because uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that so, was going to be my next it, question, because uh, we know uh, uh, what, Corey Marshall has been confirmed to be returning. Yeah, uh, yeah, Corey, yeah been I've contacted. been in touch with Corey. So we know he's doing it. Yeah, but you haven't been contacted yourself about coming back with you. No, not yet, not uh, yet. Um, right. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but yeah. uh, these things take a long time. I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> but, but you are, yeah. you are open to reprising that role. That is something you would enjoy. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I jump on it in a minute. Sure, no problem. Nice. Yeah, nice. It's, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, they've got me whenever they want me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul, well, that does it for the questions that I had for you. I'll now move on to okay. some of the community questions from uh, Facebook. The, Shen, sure. the yeah. Shenmue 500k page, uh, which you've probably heard about, um, is quite a big page. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I've seen it out there floating around. Is, it, uh, is that a, a Facebook page or... Uh, yeah, it's just uh, like a page for all the fans. Um, it's it's mainly um, something yeah, that was really yeah. central to uh, the voice of the fans yeah. for, for the community. Um, uh, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. No, I've seen it. I, I get little notices and notifications and whatnot. Yeah. I got a question from Dan Duffers. Um, okay. Are you as tough as Landy? <laughs> <laughs> Am I as tough as Landy? Well... <laughs> Let me think about that. Um, <laughs> well, as long as uh, as long as, I'll tell you what I um, I'm uh, I'm I'm getting a bit old these days, and I am uh, but I am an avid bike rider. I am a cyclist. Yeah, and uh, I like to think that that keeps me in shape. And once in a while, I go and hit the gym, and I like to think that keeps me in shape. So, <laughs> yeah. if that keeps me as tough as Landy, then uh, yes, I am every bit as tough as Landy, and ain't no bad guy <laughs> worse than me. I'll Good tell answer. you that. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, got a, uh, another question from uh, Scott DiPerio. If you could have voiced any other character in the Shenmue game, uh, who would it have been? <laughs> oh boy that what a uh, yeah heck i i that's a good question well I'll, <laughs> okay i'll tell you what um i'd uh played the uh, main uh cory marshall character because he's already been confirmed for three so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I, I, that's an instant win right there yeah i'll take that <laughs> yeah. one no i was i was talking to cory marshall not too long in fact um we did uh we did all the whole cast we did a, a Skype. Was it a Skype 
interview not I don't know, it must have been about six months ago or yeah, something. I remember watching and, that. Um, yeah. Oh, did you see that? Uh, yeah, I think it was on. Uh, oh, was it on Sega Retro's channel? So, so, oh, that's like what that. it was. Yeah, yeah Sega yeah, Retro. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and um, yeah, it was with Liesel and Eric and myself and Corey, mm. and we were all on there. Um, it was so fun to just kind of. Uh, relive the experience and talk about it and we were all kind of just recounting uh, you know this that and the other thing and uh, just remembering some of the the fun and, and silly and stupid things we did when we were recording <laughs> it was great it was a really good time yeah uh, I'll, I'll tell you if you ever get a chance to uh, visit uh, Tokyo Japan I would I highly recommend it I'm, it's I'm a wonderful place I'm currently saving up I'm gonna do the uh, the Shamu uh, pilgrimage I'm gonna to go to uh, Zobrita and are you uh, really? Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. I've just got to save a bit more money. Uh, it's quite expensive. Yeah, to get you there can do it. UK, so yeah, well, you know, once you're once you're there, um, you'll find places to stay, and there, there's even youth hostels and and cheap places that you can find too. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, it's doable. Uh, don't think it's not doable. It's totally doable. You got it. You got to visit. Uh, Japan someday. Mm, mm, definitely, I, I love it, the Japanese it, culture. I've, I've always loved it from a young age. Um, it's, a, it's just fascinating yeah. to me, to be honest. It's, it's really, uh, really uh, nice. It's kind of a kind of a, a land of extremes. It seems to me they, mm. they go from one one on one hand, you'll see some of the the most polite, shy, and reserved behavior, mm. and then. Um, on the other side of that coin, you'll see some of the most extreme, wild, whacked out, crazy <laughs> behavior yeah. coming from the same person. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, in, pretty fun. It's a fun, fun place. Right. So, a few of the questions here obviously uh, refer yeah. to Shamu Free. Um, as as sure. you mentioned earlier, you're not sure what, what's going on with that situation. Um, so yeah, I'll, no, they haven't uh, they haven't said anything yet. Mm, so so I'll, I'll leave those out uh, j just for the time being. Um, okay. I've got a question here from Richard uh, Cartledge. As a huge Landy fan, I'm curious to how you approached voicing one of the one of the greatest villains in video games, and <laughs> <laughs> and any fond memories you could share while you were working on Shemu would be great. All the best. Uh Okay, well, geez, thank, thanks. Th this is Richard, is it? Uh, Richard, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for your question, Richard. Um, uh, it's awfully nice of you to, to, <laughs> to put Landy up on this video game pedestal, but um, if, to be perfectly honest, um, uh, like I said, I, 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 I just listened to the Japanese actor um, doing his voice mm. and then uh, kind of worked my own voice into a zone that seemed to feel comfortable uh, to me and that the director liked. Mm. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, I, it's, acting is a funny thing. It's very personal. And I, imagine if, you, if uh, when you were a kid, you used to pretend play pretend games that's all acting is isn't it you're just yeah. pretending yeah um and so if you um if you can visualize or picture what it is you're pretending it makes uh, makes your job all the easier mm. and so you know that's part of the uh part of the process is just um getting some kind of picture in your head mm. and um it, whether that be uh uh some kind of animated character or a real person that you've known in your past uh, somewhere in your life or yes. um and with landy um i just uh, i saw the the picture of him i listened to the japanese actor i started visualizing myself um mm. as a serious um calm cool collected uh villain and uh, you know that was just the voice that came out i couldn't really <laughs> i can't explain it any other way to yeah. tell you the truth mm. um but um yeah uh, so i just kept lundy very <laughs> controlled and cool <laughs> <laughs> that actually um that actually goes really well into another question i have from james All Reiner. Right. Um, now, James Reiner is uh, one of the more prolific figures in the Shamu fan community. Um, yes, I see his name all the time. In fact, uh, some I, I think I get notifications from him as well. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he, he asked, uh, what were your motivations uh, behind Landy? Um, but obviously, 
from what you've just explained uh, going into the role. Yeah, that, that's how well, you approach it. Yeah, I can I can um, further uh, expound on that. Um, mm. it, basically, what you with a with a villain like that, um, you I was hoping to develop uh, some kind of uh, what we would call in acting layers. Mm. Um, what what you see is not exactly what's going on deep down. Mm. <clears throat> so, kind of what uh, happens is you you find an anger. You find a real rage, uh, a fire that mm. you can um, keep burning within, um, and then you put a lid on that, yeah. and and then you speak. Hopefully, that anger and the frustration and the fire, once in a while, will just pop out. It'll raise the lid, but uh, you got to try and keep that lid on it. Yeah. Um, and when it does pop out, when you do. Uh, catch just a, a hint of that inner rage, then uh, you can see there's something below the surface that, uh, which helps to create layers to a character. Mm. Um, and I think that just makes a character much more interesting. And, and you know, I'm, I didn't invent that technique. That's uh, yeah. a very standard uh, acting um, process. So, well, I think you did a really um, good job because Landy has thank you. He's come on to be one of the most mysterious characters uh, in, in the series. <laughs> you know, we only see him for a few yeah. minutes in number one and then a quick glimpse in yeah. number two. Um, I think That's you did right. a really good job in creating him. It's really good. Yeah, well, thank you. That's awfully nice of you to say that. Thanks. Um, we've got a, another question from yeah. Marcus Wagner on Twitter. Um, okay, Marcus. Yeah, how time intensive was the job when recording? Um, I I'm pretty sure I was going to the recording studio for about a week, uh, mm. every day for a week. Um, you know, probably about a, a forty hour week, something like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, the recording studio was uh, in Tokyo, so you know, I had to I had to go over there and. Um, be there for in fact i believe i was working on a whole string of jobs at the time yeah that's right um i had a whole bunch of work lined up so i i was there um i think at that during that job i'd already been in tokyo for oh months and months I, i'd been there for quite a while in fact um i uh, spent the better part of my life um going to japan and la and seattle um probably throughout almost all the 90s um i spent um ha more than half my life in, in japan <laughs> yeah. um just doing doing work over there so yeah it it's um it, it's intense for a short while but then yeah you just kind of bang it out and you're done and quite often um if you're not getting um, the nuance just the way the director um, has in mind, mm. um, because there is a bit of a language um, issue there when you're working with Japanese people, yeah, even though they have interpreters and whatnot, mm. um, sometimes you're not quite sure you're getting it right. And so you, you'll end up doing um, quite a few takes, you know, mm. a, a dozen, maybe even two dozen takes. Uh, for just a, a three-word line, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this though: some of the funnest, uh, some of the funnest work, is when you get a script um, uh, for any video game, and if it's just a whole bunch of vowels like A's or E's or O's, or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know instantly, oh, I'm just a character who's getting uh, killed or beaten up, or you know, I'm a, I'm enduring a a lot of pain <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because and that's all you're saying is oh <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> and your script will just be a bunch of vowels yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny so i've got a another question from john noel cleary um and he's all asked, right he's asked uh what what made you accept the role as landy um, well, it was uh, the right price. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this stuff for free. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, the, the price was right. And um, they, uh, they showed me the script and it looked pretty good to me. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, and, um, you know, when it comes to w when actors are out there 
constantly pitching for work and or maybe i should say fishing you're fishing for work yeah um you you're generally not too picky mm. i mean if something isn't uh, doesn't feel like it's of a you know a, a certain standard and mm. then you don't want to do that or if they're not paying very very much you don't want to do that so yeah yeah you know there's a there there's some discrepancy or there's some uh, uh uh, discerning uh, factors, I should say, but um, we always, you know, we always take um, whatever decent job we can get. I was just going to add to that; it's got nothing to do with um, video games. <clears throat> yeah. Um, most recent, my most recent um, acting uh, job was at uh, Universal Studios uh, in Singapore, right here where I'm living these days, hmm. and. <clears throat> um, they had uh, hired me uh, to play, I think in the UK, you'd call him Father Christmas. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this skinny little bald man playing Father Christmas. Didn't put, <laughs> I'm not quite the right image, but, you know, with the makeup and all the costume, they've got the giant fat suits and, <laughs> yeah. and beards and hair yeah. and everything. And uh, you can't, you wouldn't even know it's me. So, <laughs> um, and, uh, and uh, you know, you'd. In other words, I guess what I'm saying is, you take what you can get. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I got a question yeah. here from. Yeah, no, uh, it was a fun job. I got a, another question here from Nick Soren on Facebook, um, and he's right. wondering what do you think about the game's uh, cult following? I think it's mm. fantastic that we've got such a such a wonderful fan base. Mm. Um, Corey Marshall and I have talked about this, and Eric um, and Liesel. We've all um, been in touch about um, how how incredible it is that people have really attached themselves to these characters or to the story and mm. to the, the 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 journey and the whole um, just kind of the world of Shenmue is. Um, it, it seems to have kind of become something bigger than than. You know, it what well, you expected it to be it, like, it, yeah, yeah, much more than what we expected. It's kind of mm. like it, 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 it's what's that saying? It, um, the, um, the sum is greater than uh, the, its parts, or, or, or I forgot what I'm. You know, the little mm. saying that I I'm trying mean, to yeah, re yeah. recall it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, with all these little parts that we put together, if you took it all apart and strung it out, uh, you'd. It wouldn't seem like it was, you know, that. Um, it wouldn't seem that uh, such a big world. But mm. when you put it all together and the fans, you know, uh, enjoying it and putting their own um, kind of their own spin to each character, and and the fans really um, get, seem to get so involved and connected to the whole world of Shamu that mm. it kind of the fans help the whole thing become bigger than what we'd ever really thought it would be or mm. anything like that. So um, I just think it's um, it's a great, great thing. And I'd love to say thank you to um, all the fans and all of your um, listeners or viewers that mm. uh, are taking part in this. It's wonderful to, to have um, so much support. Well, as I mentioned earlier, like, you know, the performance you gave uh, really lent that sense of mystery to the character. Um, and I think that's great, what's, great. I think that's what's uh, captivated a lot of the fans, yeah. uh, you know, and just that, 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 that feeling of not well, knowing the, if it's ever going to get finished. Um, but yeah, obviously now we yeah. know that it will go forward. Um, you know, some, there's, there, is, there is an old saying that, uh, that comes to mind that I actually do remember now. Um, and <laughs> I, uh, th this does, I, I do remember now. Um, I remember talking to the director about this. Um, and I remember um, w recalling this old um, adage that, that goes, less is more. Um, and totally agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I think that works in mystery, that works in horror movies. If you're trying to be scary, don't show us too much, right? Yeah. Yeah. If, you're, if you're trying to be uh, mysterious, don't say too much. Mm -hmm. Let let the uh, viewer or let the audience's imagination fill in some of those blanks or let it stay blank. Well, um, that does it for the questions, Paul, but I've got sure. a few requests 
for you to say okay. a certain thing in uh, different <laughs> different accents, if that's okay. In different accents. Okay. Yeah, if that's all right. Uh, well, not different accents, uh, diff different characters, uh, so to speak. Okay. Um, Richard Danks asks, um, if you could say for the last time, where is the mirror in Landy's voice? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, here, here goes nothing. For the last time, where is the mirror? Oh man, that gave me chills. That did. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And finally, uh, in Chai's voice, uh, Landy Summer will be pleased, and that comes from Dakota Whistle. Okay, good old Dakota. All right. <laughs> You might want to pull this away from your ear just a bit. Back off. Yeah. <laughs> For the last time. Wait a minute. That's Landy's line. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's uh, Landy Sam. Landy Sama will be pleased. It will be pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Landy Sama will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> there you go oh, Paul that's great that's great <laughs> we mate. crossed over we crossed Lundy and Chai wow a hybrid <laughs> well Paul it has been absolutely phenomenal having the opportunity to speak to you you've made you've made me really happy a, a humble little shout oh back. good I'm glad to hear it thanks for taking the time out of your day mate it's really really yeah. appreciated no um, I, I appreciate you you uh, setting this up and taking the time I'm happy to Happy to uh, talk to uh, you and the fans. Thank you for setting it up, James. It's been really, really nice of you to do that. No worries, Paul. Um, is there anything that you're currently working on that the viewers uh, could, could go and watch? Or is there anything you'd like to say uh, about any projects uh, you have coming up? Yeah, at the moment, um, I'm, uh, I'm working toward a stage performance that's probably going to happen uh, later this year. Okay. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a, a slapstick comedy that we're going to do at one of the national theaters um, here in Singapore, I think. So okay. um, it's uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm not actually allowed to talk too much about it. But All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, it, it, I I'm pretty sure I'll be um, asked to play about uh, 15 to 20 different characters in one show, Ooh, that's <laughs> which that's, is that pretty like fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be sweating, but it'll <laughs> yeah. be fun. Okay, Paul. Well, thank you so much, mate. Um, oh, you're welcome. Would you be willing to come on uh, back, uh, back onto the show after Shamu Free has been released? Sure. Sure. Yeah. You can uh, contact me anytime. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm happy to... Um, to join you and all the fans out there. In fact, um, you guys might want to just start demanding that you want you want Paul Lucas and Eric Kelso and Liesel back. <laughs> right, guys, you heard it here first. We will start it. We'll, we'll, start we'll light a Twitter fire run. under their bums. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we will do it. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Paul. I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll hope to oh, see yeah. you again soon. Okay, it's really good to talk to you, James. Thank you very much. Have, no a, good, worries, have a good day. And Happy New Year to you. Yeah? You too, mate. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Bye now. <laughs>